I really like sailing the Kojani Isles. Some of the areas on one of the bigger islands actually has these little uh, water spouts. They're like little stone volcanoes and little geysers and they'll shoot random uh, water up into the air randomly. That big dark cloud there is a thunder system or a uh, weather system. It's actually kind of like a NPC mob. It has a particular path that it roams, and as you see, it's pretty huge. And when you get inside one of those, the screen darkens and it starts to rain and then in the center of each of those storms is a snow storm for some reason and the trees will just start whipping back and forth like crazy when you're in one of those storms unfortunately my computer doesn't show the rain it's a graphic bug that's been in the game when I think when they switched over to try for update for DirectX 10 and since Windows XP doesn't really run that it came up with a little hiccup and people have been able to see okay why am I bouncing there we go wouldn't cross the chunk line but yeah people haven't been able to see rains a lot since then and it's not that the rain's not there you can hear it it's just it's being drawn very very small some people in uh, Windows 7 have stated that they've can see the rain now but it's still really fine and there's some areas in the game like Bordner's Cleft and the Tomb of Lord Singh, I believe, has snow effects. I think they said that the way the game draws the snow and the rain is two different systems and that's why they're not uh, both messed up for the people who can't see rain. A lot of people complained about the rain too, especially with those Roman storms, because the rain gets so thick, it, it really does impede your visibility. Which I always thought was real cool, just seeing that thing just slowly creeping up on you, and then it makes it really difficult trying to get through the mobs. Made it, made it an interesting challenge because you couldn't see, you didn't know when you was going to get jumped on by an angry critter. And it looks like I got kicked out. Well, let me pause this and see if I can't get back in the game. Okay, I'm back. It just took one login. And now you can see we're in Kalia. And we're going here to stop. Which is the city of Agram. And first we're going to be approaching the City of Call. I really like the City of Call. It's a uh, major port city. And you actually f have to sail th through the middle of the city to continue on.
Got these big, huge cliffs that you gotta sail in between with watchtowers on top. Or uh, rather, I believe they're lighthouses. It's another thunderstorm. And Kalia, as you'll notice, is more of an Arabian style continent. Like I said, Kojani is the Asian themed, and Thestra is like the more medieval English typical fantasy setting. This area right here would be where the NPC galleons would uh, dock and you could get a ride to the other continents. place the inner dock is usually packed full of players boats sometimes you can't even sail through here especially if you're in a galleon like I am there's one Kalian galleon in here Get one of the storm fronts passing over so I can hear the rain and thunder but I can't see it.
show you how your view distance is. This is as far out as you can pan when you're riding on the boat. And here's the city of Agram. As you can tell, it's quite huge itself. And you really get the feeling of being in a uh, desert bazaar going through this, those streets. It's really twisty and turning and there's crafting areas that you go if you are doing crafting and they got lots of crafting quests and stuff in there. And it, it can be really confusing trying to find, even if you got a quest tracker up, to try to find where you you need to go. But I, I really like that city. It's got a nice atmosphere. And I think that'll about do it for the day. I hope you really enjoyed this video and enjoyed the sights and hopefully that'll prompt you to get the game if you're not playing and get out there and do some exploring. There's many many other areas for you to travel by boat or on horse or in the air and it's a really fun game. Lots to see and do. And I hope to catch you in here sometimes. Till then, take care.